Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Oscar, and together we are the Ginfluencers UK. The drink we're trying today isn't gin, no. It's Hennessy XO Cognac. Wow, look at us getting all posh. Oh. In 1870, Maurice Hennessy created Hennessy XO for his circle of friends and introduced a new style of cognac. XO <laughs> means extra old, and this cognac consists of eau de vie, which is aged for a minimum of 10 years. This blend is composed of over a hundred different eau de vie from the Grand de Petit Champagne Borders de Fin Bois region. <laughs> it comes in a 70 centiliter bottle with an ABV of 40% for £160. Right, so if you understood any of that, I hope I said it right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Look, it is what it is. This is it, Hennessy XO, we're opening it, we're going to give it a try. Right, I, I've got to apologise because for the life of us, we cannot find any cognac, our cognac glasses. Like, it is, <laughs> it's, it's... I've been searching, we've got a lot of glass in here yeah. and we've got a lot of space to put them in. And I, I, do you know what, we were doing this video and I can't find them and I gave up. I have a feeling they're in a box somewhere over here. I've got another suggestion. If any of you, our friends and family out there, are looking to get us a Christmas present this year, get us brandy glasses on cognac glasses. There yeah, you know. I think uh, I think you've oh, I can smell that already. Let's open on it. Oh. Now put the oh, stopper I'm, back I'm in. Get, I'm getting an eye. I'm getting an eye. So we've got guests here. <laughs> we've got guests here. Someone's going. Let me smell it. Let me smell it. Right. Let me. Um, let me <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. What do you think? What do you think? Hold on. Oh, oh, you like it? You don't want to speak. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I don't mind. That's, you, you like the smell? Oh, 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 it's chocolatey. Oh, oh yeah, that's chocolatey. Oh, do you know what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I've, I've never spent so long smelling something. Uh, prunes, dried fruit, dates. Yeah. Spices, Christmas cake, I'm getting all those things. Oh, I've got to try it, sorry. Wow. Wow, oh wow. Oh, oh that's so smooth. Oh, it's creamy. It is creamy. vanilla -y. It's, there, there's spicy there, but isn't spicy like overpoweringly it's just a hint of it just comes like a waft a waft of spiciness I am, i'm getting kind of like cinnamony elements from it i'm getting all those kind of i'm getting figs dried figs i'm getting all those dried fruit hints of chocolate vanilla yeah vanilla -y. i said vanilla -y. oh did you sorry yeah. literally did you tune out to <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Yeah. vanilla -y. um <laughs> sorry yeah cinnamon it's it has certain christmas elements oh this is Beautiful. I, I was really hesitant, but now do you know what? I really like an eau de vie, don't I? We've, we've been mm. to certain restaurants and yeah. we'll have an eau de vie. And we have we have an, an eau, up there. yeah we have an eau de vie gin, yeah. Yeah. Um, but <clears throat> I do I do love an eau de vie. Oh, do you know what? I really it's warm. Up. Yeah. Do you know? What? Please listen. If you a lot of our friends and family are stuck to what to get us for for Christmas and stuff. Brandy and yeah. cognac glasses. No more gin glasses, get us some brandy yeah, don't and whiskey glasses. glasses. That's it. Yeah, there you go. There you go. That's it, because we can't find them. And also, yeah, <coughs> we're packed out with gin at the moment, so can't fit any more in. <laughs> Pause on the gin. You can tell Christmas around the corner. What is amazing is I always use... When I was oh, that's younger, lovely. I used to um, go to the lo a local pub that had a the Crown Lane. Crown? Pub. Yeah. So it had a DJ on and things like that. And on Friday nights for the last hour, the DJ would leave and go to Ra Ra's and I would do his last hour it's set. I would DJ for him. It literally sounded so common then. What? The Ra Ra's. No, Ra Ra's. It was Ra Ra's. So Ra Ra's. Ra Ra's to them, to people who didn't go to Ra Ra's, it was called Ra Ra's. Because yeah, it always, route, always ended up in a... It was up many, many stairs. But anyway, so um, the the DJ that I used to cover for, um, when we used to drink together, we would always have beer with a cognac chaser. Really? Yeah. Oh, I never knew that. Yeah. 
we would always had a bit of a cognac chaser. Years I've known you, and I yeah. never knew that. And we didn't obviously we didn't drink together often because he was always Friday nights. I would do the last hour, but sometimes on a Saturday night, um, we'd all stay back and would I'll have a cognac chaser with my with my beer. I wouldn't do it with this because this this. Do you know what I have? This would be the phenomenal. How much I like a good cognac. It has been a long time since I've tried. I, I, I sort of stayed away from brown spirits over the past 30 odd years because of a bad experience and I've gradually been gradually been introduced to them again. I am really liking this. I actually want to go out. <laughs> sit in a pub. So I literally want to go out. With now. a fire. With a, a fire, fire. Sit there and have this. Oh, I speak to all my old mates. Oh, isn't this lovely? This bring you back so many nice memories, even though this wasn't something that we would drink at the time, but we would drink Hennessy. But this is phenomenal. Mm. I'm I can't brown, go past the chocolate chocolateiness. And brown sugar and uh, it's super, super smooth. It's like it's like this <laughs> bear with me. It's like licking a Christmas cake, but it's got no cinnamon on it. So licking, so you cut this open is, a This is a little bit cinnamony for me, though. See, I'm not, I'm not getting that. I'm, just, I'm sticking. My mind is set on chocolate. Okay, and licking a cake. Yeah, and licking a cake like the the top of a, a Christmas fruit cake. Wow. I mean, the thing is, <laughs> but also is... being out thirty odd years ago drinking Hennessy. Yeah, yeah, but you didn't drink this Hennessy. But this, this is hundred and sixty <clears throat> quid a bottle. I, do you know what? I'm going to say this, not being a snob. <laughs> oh, hold on. You're not being a snob. I'm Are not. you for real? Everyone used to think I was a snobby one. Are you for real? You're not a snob. You are, you've become so snobby. But go on then, go on. You not being a snob, go on. Go on. Not being a snob. Yeah. Right? I think that's worth every penny. <laughs> every penny. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, I love that. I absolutely love that. And I want us to build a fireplace right there where that radiator is. <laughs> can, we, can we put a chimney? Sorry, neighbours. Sorry, neighbours. That's it. Um, yeah. I, I love this. I think it's lovely. I think this has lovely. actually made me quite emotional. It's brought back so many memories of when I used to drink brown spirits. Take that off. That is, there you go. I want that now. Um, I'm glad you like this. I really I'm like this. I'm glad you like this because it makes me feel a lot more comfortable now. Um, you bought me a magnum of it. No, we, we do have some very expensive rums that you need to try, but I think that knowing that you like this, you'll like those as well. I, oh, I love that. Mm. I have really scored this. it. Okay, I love it. Whatever the score is for love, I love that. <laughs> I love it. I want this with me forever. Forever and ever. And it's ever. a nice bottle. Yeah. It's actually shaped a bit like you. <laughs> upside down. I think it's upside down. There you go. <laughs> Anywho. Um, yeah, let's score it. Hold on. Wow. I've had the, but, but I need it in a proper glass. I actually want to sit there. And aerate it. Don't yeah, you? aerate it. I want to enjoy that. It is good. It's really good. I want the special one. Oh. <laughs> So when me, my leg just went there. <laughs> you need more of that. Yeah, that I know. Right. You ready? Yeah, go. go. I love this. I absolutely love it. Because, <laughs> <I didn't> marry <laughs> because, <laughs> because it's actually brought back so many memories and it's warming. As anyone who knows me knows, I like I like comforting things. I like Christmas. I like stuff like that. This yeah. has This has made me feel very emotional. And I love this. It's brought me back to 30 something years ago when I used to hang around with all my mates and we'd go out and we'd try and avoid the crown because Scott was DJing there. Oh, hey, and oh, my DJ was good. We'd go to Wheat Sheeps it. instead, which was the rough one. Which was even worse. Yeah, I know. It's, I know. I know. I know. But then we go to Ritzy and Tottenham. But there you go. Um, <laughs> then I'd go raving. I'd get yeah. to a proper place. I went to Ritzy and Tottenham. Ooh, I'd fun, I had really good fun in Ritzy and so Tottenham. Did I. I had you didn't go to fun. Ritzy. No, because I went to nice places. I went to Ritzy and Tottenham, put my tie around the top of my head. Because we used to have to wear ties and shoes and shirts and chino trousers back then. God, that's so long ago. I feel so old. And we put the right. tie, we take the tie off and put it around the top of my head and go raving. Mind you, so did Daniel. He did that at his wedding, do you remember? Oh, God. So when my nephew got married, um, 
for the party bit afterwards, all of him and his mates put their ties around their head like he used to do. And we had a full on rave party. There were lasers. And... I don't remember rolling up my shirt sleeve, my, my, my sleeves on my shirt though. Isn't that weird? You stay in that little bit formal. Anyway, do your bits. Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe. Drop us a comment if you've had this, and I would definitely advise you if, if you do one treat this year, I'd get yourself this. If you deserve a Christmas present and you've got a spare 160 quid lying around, and I know it's really it's very hard at the moment, but if you have, get yourself this. And um, uh, don't forget to do your bit. Drink responsibly now. There you go. Yeah. And also, <laughs> Christmas present, bigger glass. Right. And would you like to have one of those? <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'd never ask anyone anyone to buy me that. I'd it's never buy it. No, no, that's very I'm expensive. I'm glad do we, not, do not, do not. I'm glad we bought it though. Yes. I'm glad we bought it. So, because we hadn't tried it before. We hadn't tried the XO before. Love it. I love yeah, this. We and if you, if you come around to our house at Christmas, you can have some. And we'll see you in the next video. Oh, I've been very drunk it. Cheers. Uh -huh.